Today I'm going to share about this beautiful book called Painting Portraits and Figures in Watercolors by Mary Wells. So I found this book very interesting because this artist has mentioned various things regarding her philosophy, regarding different art materials, art supplies and different techniques, composition, values and much more. And even she has explained about the 18th and 19th century artist in watercolors so i really found this um, book very helpful if you want to um, you know refer or see any demonstration kind of an image from this book as a reference image and you want to copy and create your own artwork that is not possible because there is no such detailed demonstration as if but it doesn't matter i could really connect to this artist because she has explained her personal journey as an artist so I found this very helpful and I'm going to show you what is there in this book. So let's see. The book cover itself, it looks so beautiful. I just got attracted and I just bought this beautiful book. In this book, everything is mentioned regarding painting portraits and figures in watercolor. Most of the people are scared of creating portraits and figures. And I feel this book will be really helpful for those who are planning to create portraits and figures. This artist has shared many things regarding her personal philosophy and she has also mentioned some artists from 18th and 19th century. So I feel she has done a lot of her research. If you are a beginner, she has mentioned how to get started and why she has chosen to paint uh, figures and portraits. So if you are a beginner, so this is this would be very helpful for you all. And if you don't know regarding materials, she has mentioned which paints to buy, which brushes to buy. You know, all those things she has mentioned very clearly. This, I found it very helpful. She has mentioned the basic supplies, what you can buy. So here I am just trying to zoom in and show you what are the basic supplies you can buy the brushes, paper and the you know the paints and can you see she has mentioned her personal journey the basic studio how you can set up your basic studio a place where you can think sit and think and a place where you can sit and paint so she has mentioned her personal experience in a personal journey so that you can you know start your own And she has explained how important is the techniques. She has mentioned many things regarding techniques, regarding colors, composition, values and many things you can see in this book. She has also mentioned how to create different textures and uh, you know uh, how to have different combination how to mix the colors and I really liked about she has given some suggestions some advice so that you can incorporate all those things in your artwork and the most important thing she also mentioned about the drawing how to you know how you can learn to draw and what are the uh, things you should keep in mind while creating a figures or a portraits the proportion all these things matters a lot
I really liked in her book she has mentioned some tips for an artist so that would be a great help for all the artist whoever is referring to this art book She has also mentioned the common mistakes the artist make in while creating a figures or any portraits and she has also suggested some exercises to practice at home so all this is i found it very helpful as i have mentioned there is very less step by step demonstration images but i feel that is completely fine because this artist has mentioned so many other things and this is completely fine for me and the best thing i found is she know uh, she has studied more about the lights values composition so i can really see all those things in her artwork especially the way she plays with the lights you know can you see the lights and all this is creating a great difference in her artwork from her book i can see she has studied a lot regarding shadows and lights and in all her painting i can see a beautiful shadows and lights and the way she compose her you know she create artwork by um, can you see as i was talking about colors and light she know best about the colors and lights and this create a wonderful artwork and i feel mixing skin color is a most difficult part and she just do it very easily I really like the the subject what she has chosen for example colors and lights the backgrounds so all these she has mentioned in depth The best part is she has mentioned the life as an artist. This is what I really got connected to this book. She has mentioned how to create your own style, how to have that originality in your artwork. Everything she has mentioned. So this is what, you know, the artist feel that connection. And whenever the viewers see your artwork, they really get connected because it has that originality it has your own style so she has mentioned how to get that knowing your own style and when to know your painting is complete and knowing what to paint all these matters a lot my friends and see she has mentioned growing as an artist what are the challenges you face so it is not about only you face the challenge there are so many artists they also face the challenge and how they overcome and being a professional artist it is you know how is 
how is her journey she has mentioned everything working with the model i think she work more with the models and i really love the pose and all she work with can you see the pose she really work with you know do work with lightings work with model so every artist is unique so she has this unique qualities and even you must be having a unique qualities i really love this beautiful girl painting she has also talked about framing your work so framing is also important right once you create an artwork i just bought this book and i really got connected so i thought let me share this with you all this is not a sponsored video so i hope this is helpful and i will see you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye